Hi you guys, it is a brand new calendar month, which means I have put together all of the indie sewing patterns that I could find that released in October, that all released last month. We have a lot of patterns, and I don't know if it's because it's the start of a new quarter, or like, you know, the start of fall was last month or what, but we have like 25 new patterns. So we have to just basically get right to it. First up, we have Lore PR's Lenny Top Sewing Pattern, the ultimate knit top, distinctive, five distinctive options, um, choose from two set in sleeves, dramatic flare or go sleeveless, subtle but striking detail, front shoulder gathering, adds a touch of detail and sophistication. Uh, close to the body fit due to its negative ease. Love to see that. All right, making this as big as I can, we have asymmetrical with one long sleeve. That's actually pretty cool. So I don't love asymmetrical, but because there's actually like a shoulder seam here, I think, um, that could actually be really cool looking. There's asymmetrical with short sleeve. There's asymmetrical with two long sleeves. Yeah, it's really just like the neckline is cut out asymmetrical with two short sleeves and asymmetrical sleeveless okay yeah so here it is so there she's calling it asymmetrical which i guess technically it is um the neckline is but it's not like your whole shoulder is hanging out and this use of a border print is just chef's kiss i mean absolutely incredible um let's see some other oh and then you can adjust the length of it too so here's like a long dress another dress. I mean, these column dresses, please, they are giving. That's the tank top version, right? It's kind of cute. I like this. Look at all these versions she made. Okay. You guys get the gist of that one. This is 1177 US. I converted it. Um, yeah. And in sizing, 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 I think I saw that a second ago. Garment measurements in inches. We have the bust, inches, inches, 27 call it to 39, 38 and a half. That size is double zero to 12. And then we also have another size chart and this is for sizes 14 to 26 and that bust is 41 to 60 incredible love this i don't know that i love it for 12 dollars but it is really cute if i keep thinking about it in my mind then it will be worth it all right so next we have oliver and s or uh, technically it's Liesl and co but they're hosted by oliver and s um, three new patterns. We have an Antwerp pullover. We have the Amarina uh, dress and the Kyoto dress. So first things first, this little pullover, $19. Wow. Dressy twist on the classic hoodie. This pullover is full of style. Sew it from heavier woven or stable knit fabrics. Slightly cropped boxy shape with a V-neck, front kangaroo pocket, curved longer back hem for more coverage. View A has a button or snap placket at the side seam um, and a lined three-piece hood. View B with sewn side seams and a classic one-piece collar. Here are the photos. Oh, I see. Yeah, it is a bit elevated of a hoodie, right? I think because of the, the V-neck, it feels a little bit more polished and less... It feels more mature, right? Less less like a teenager. That's the collared version. That's really pretty. Let's see from the side so I can, yeah, you can see the dip down there, but I want to see. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. For sure an elevated pullover. The three-piece hood means there's like a center panel here and then left and right. I don't know what that does in terms of hood shape or fit. Um, you know, I'm assuming it makes it a lot wider, but flatter. 
I don't know. Here's a little button placket on the side. That's a nice detail. Yeah, cropped for her means high hip. Boxy, yeah. Cute. $20 though, jeez. Um, and then the size range, what's the size range on? Here we go. Uh, in inches, zero to 20. So the, well, the hip is really what matters here. 35 inches to 48 and a half. Not the best. Not the best at all. Especially for $20. This is the our Amarina dress. Relaxed, classic, pull-on dress with gentle A-line shape, V-neck, cup sizes. That's nice. View A has cuffed short sleeves, a flattering shawl collar, and shaped welt pockets. View B has bracelet length sleeves, curved side pockets, easy to wear, great for layering, cooler weather. Bonus, this pattern also includes a cut line to make a top if you eliminate the pockets. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's kind of um a little bit vintage long though I mean this is like below her knee right doesn't this give you like a bit of a I don't know 40s nod the sleeve does look really good fits well this seems to be constructed well which that's kind of tricky to do the bust dart is in the right place there's a little cuffed sleeve here yeah there's your welt pocket but it has this little loop de duped um detail which is pretty where's the other version is this it collarless long sleeve yeah i don't think there's any oh and then that's the curved pocket do you see how it's coming out of the side seam that's actually pretty cool you can see it better here i love that detail see now that would make it worth twenty dollars to learn how to do that and then apply it to basically any other shift dress that you have in your wardrobe very cool and what was I just oh line drawings I wanted to see the back if there was any darts there's not any darts in the back okay all right and then we have Kyoto smooth lines of this body grazing semi-fitted v-neck dress are both elegant and contemporary Curved waist seam, front and back darts for shaping, an inverted box pleat at the center front, and short and long sleeve options. This also includes cup sizes. Yeah, okay, very elegant. This is the curved seam she's talking about. These are very ladylike, right? Very proper feeling. Very like, let's go to church, you know, let's let's teach somebody something you know very very conservative i do like how the box pleat is dropped down quite a bit um, that is going to help with like if you have a full belly it's not going to be so obvious you're going to still have a little bit of shape there basic little hemmed sleeve that's a darker version long sleeve yeah, it does look a little bit long in the shoulder length. And the dark ones are just really so hard to see any drag lines. Yeah, it seems long in the in the shoulder seam, but the sleeve cap is made to fit that. So it kind of goes together. It's a little bit long, but the sleeve fits it, so I wouldn't fuss with it. Next we have, I'm going to say this wrong, Poasis Ava Blouse. 1090 euros chic boho style touch of retro or contemporary twist sleeve heads with flat pleats that lend the perfect amount of volume without increasing shoulder width okay i'm not understanding that okay the elegant sleeve detail in addition to that a doll collar waist cinching ribbon for a blouse effect, an inner button placket, making it ideal for early autumn. Okay, 
sizes 32 to 48. We will see the size chart below. Yes, we will. Size chart, size chart. Oh, I like how they address the sewing skills. Again, similar to am I skilled enough to make this? You can look through this list and see what you've already accomplished, what seems very daunting, and what seems like something you can accomplish now. Okay, so this is zero to 16. All right, well, I don't know the centimeters conversion. Dang. Yeah, if you're going to offer your pattern in like to US customers, I know we're annoying. I get it. <laughs> I totally get it. But we need to have the the inches. I don't want to do any more work than I have to, you know, to see if this will work for me, especially when it comes to fit. All right, but there it is. It is super, super cute if you ask me. The collar is a little much. She sells this vest pattern too. Yeah, here's a lot of cute versions. A lot of detail photos. Okay, here we go. That's just like a little quilting cotton. Cute. Yeah, it is a cute little boho top. Probably would really add a lot to just jeans. <laughs> okay, took the words out of my mouth. Um, some of the details really do get lost, though, in these prints, right? And I'm also wondering if you could construct it without the collar. I like the collar. I do. But I would do collar or waist tie. You know, it leave out the waist tie if you're going to add the collar. If you're going to leave the collar off. See, that doesn't feel just a little bit better. Um, yeah, lots of photos, though. Okay, back to the beginning now. Yeah, that's really sweet. Really cute. Ava blouse. I do need more tops, you guys. I really do. Um, next, we have the Made for Mermaids pattern for October. The Winnie Wide Leg Shorts, Crops, and Pants. Uh, knit Wide Leg Bottom with several options. Pin tuck along each front leg, mid and high rise options, three waistband options, six inseam options, um, and optional pockets. Great for lounging and stable sweater knit, wearing to work out in French terry, or dressing up for work in a ponty fabric. I don't know who is working out in French terry. Maybe not, not in my weather. Not in my climate. So, yeah, a little sweatpant with a little pleated detail in the front. I do like the leg shape, the, the wide leg. I'm maybe a little bit more width through the thigh here, but again, hard to tell because these, are, I think, our tester makes. So I don't know if they made any alterations or not. But you can get an idea of the different waistbands. There's like a pullover yoga one. There's this one with a single drawstring channel, and then this one that has the multi-elastic. You can see all those here. This does, it is a really beautiful design on the front of the leg, I will say. If you're going to have, like, fancy sweatpants, this is it. <laughs> if you're going to try and dress up sweatpants in any way, this is the way to do it. All right, so that must be the mid-rise, I guess. I see why they do the three pictures on one thing, but I would really like to be able to, I don't know, see more detail rather than three pictures at once. Oh, wow. Yeah, that one doesn't look like wide leg at all. Oh, really cute little set. Yeah, you basically just have to make a set. Yeah, super cool. Love it. Okay, these these pattern um, made for mermaids, green style, all those guys have like so many photos. So if you want to see more pictures, go check them out. But I really think this is a great pattern for dressing up or dressing down. Great airport outfit. I mean, come on, wear this to the airport to fly, to travel. And you look completely pulled together, yet you are basically wearing pajamas. All right, then Georgian Ginger released one dress with three variations, and they're calling it the Polar Dress Collection. This is a part of their, um, what do they call it? Uh, 
at, not add on. It's the it's part of their collection where they have like the little built it's a built in collection. Built in shelf bra, built in shorts, I think. Um so we'll look at view A for the basics and then look at B and C to see the different necklines because I think that's the only difference. 10 bucks each. Um all in one high neck style featuring a built-in shelf bra and attached shorts for maximum support, booty coverage, and overall comfort. Okay, new shorts design includes a shapewear type fit with tummy control panel. So that means that you're gonna have to buy a specific type of fabric for those shorts. Um, split gusset for easier bathroom breaks. Oh. Yeah, okay. I mean, still, that feels a little risky. <laughs> and long inseam for thigh control. All right, that's all about the shorts. Most popular fabric. All right. So, does it talk about anything about this particular one? No. So, I think we just have to just look at the photos and see that this one is a high neck, right? Oh, that's like legit tummy control. My goodness. Oh, that's probably where the shorts start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely where the shorts start. Okay. Wow, yeah, you really can't get that body yaddy yaddy everybody's talking about. Look at this. Wild. But I you know, if you want to wear these bodycon dresses but feel like sexy and like sucked in and like you don't you know what I mean like that's you got to do the the undergarments but look how great all these women look so again this is like the crew neckline with short sleeves or <laughs> or um long sleeves oh or sleeveless yeah here's a sleeveless version and remember there's a built-in shelf bra too I wonder if you have to do those the shelf bra like if you do the sleeve version do you have to do the shelf bra just curious here's view b which is a scoop front and scoop back again with the tummy control and the three sleeve options yeah why we are just changing up necklines here and making them separate patterns I guess because it's one long piece that you just cut, you know, the front and the back on the fold. Maybe in terms of like saving paper, it was easier to do it this way. But then charging for them individually, mm, I don't know. This one's spaghetti strap. So this is where the, the uh, what's it called? Built-in bra really comes into play. Mini length. Or floor length. And remember, these are supposed to be really fitted. I think it looks best like when you lean into it being like a gown type of thing. Really pretty. And then all of these just have the spaghetti strap. Next, we have Bella Loves Patterns, the Dolce skirt, 14 US, high waisted mini skirt with a straight, I'm sorry, slight A line shape at the hem. It features two darts in the front and two darts in the back. Um, invisible zipper, fully lined, backed out lining, internal separate waistband, which is finished with a bias binding on the bottom edge for a luxurious finish. Okay. Yeah, it's just your basic little A-line mini skirt. Here's um, the construction of the inside is really beautiful. And I'm pretty sure she sells this jacket, but not that one. So if you wanted to make a suit, you absolutely could. Yeah, mini skirts, especially in like plaid, you know, thrown back to the 90s again, is really having a moment. Um, it doesn't take any fabric. Let's see the size chart. 
So 6 to 22 is the numbers that she uses. That is a hip of 34 to 46. Note on sizing. Okay. Very much aware that the current size range isn't as close as inclusive as I should aim to be. Please bear with me as I learn to fit and work with plus size patterns. I'm aiming to offer the best patterns I could possibly make no matter the size. Thank you for your patience and support. Huh. That's a very um, interesting note. Isn't as inclusive as it should aim to be. I don't know about that wording. That feels a little bit like, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but the skirt is cute. Um, definitely reminds me that I need to be looking for some mini skirts. Um, me being a size 14 and ready to wear, having a 46 inch hip, I cannot make this skirt. And I'm like just mid-size. I'm not plus size. So, um, yeah, that's too bad for me. But for those of you straight size, $14, I don't know. I feel like we could probably find a A-line skirt with size inclusivity and maybe a little bit cheaper. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, next is Matchy Matchy Club Perfect Puff Sleeve Top. They are doing a really great job of developing these sort of easy, relaxed, boxy tops with like a twist. And a basic with a twist is one of my favorite things. Um, we've been doing like dramatic statement sleeves for a few years now. Um, this one, is a little bit more elevated because it it's a drop shoulder plus it doesn't start up here which makes it a little bit different than some of the other statement sleeves we've seen even in this video today but they describe it as relaxed roomy a-line silhouette with a touch of shaping for a flattering fit this easy to sew pattern includes two views both feature a wide neckline and drop shoulders with a perfectly dramatic puff sleeve that hits just below the elbow the length sits just below the natural waist so it's a little bit cropped giving the option for tucked or untucked look. View B has button placket for elevated styling. Yep, so button placket or without, and then, oh, like a little jacket, that's cute. And then, um, yeah, everything else is the same. Let's see what their size range looks like. So 2XS to 6XL. So there you have it. That's 31 inches up to 64 in the bust. Yeah, and I wonder if you can take the same instructions for this button placket and put it on the back. That would also be really cute. But yeah, 14 US on this. Here is the Blythe dress from Stitch Witch, your new favorite fall staple. The dress features fitted princess panels and a flared mini length hem. Sleeves are elasticated with a leg of mutton shape. The neckline has a halter tie strap. So this is not a bra, this is part of the dress. Not a ton of photos on this one. So yeah, elastic shoulder, and then something happening down here. But other than that, it's just a fit and flare. Here's the line drawing, that'll probably be easier to look at. Okay, so no waist seam, all right. There's your princess seams that flare out. Very dramatic flare here. There is this halter, which I gotta imagine it helps hold up the sleeve a little bit. My biggest thing with sleeves like this is they always fall off my shoulder for some reason. I don't know if I have too much of a shoulder slope or like what the deal is, but even with elastic, sometimes they wanna fall off. But then you have this little back zipper. Yeah, pretty straightforward stuff happening here. Here is elastic sizing yardage body measurements in inches is a 30 inch bust to a 58 inch bust and that's the most fitted part that in the waist so doing a good job with size inclusivity there 15 Canadian I don't know how that converts to US but 15 Canadian okay this is Nina Lee's new pattern the Cubello um, this, she separates her straight sizing and plus sizing. So this is the plus size version. $12, love that price point. Um, introducing the Cubello jumpsuit. 
much requested hybrid created from the Q dress and the Portobello trouser. Okay, she just did a pattern mashup all on her own. Both vintage inspired designs come together to create a timeless jumpsuit design perfect for year round dressing, faux button placket front, and concealed back zipper closure. Choose between sleeves and straps, and trust me, you'll get compliments for super styling either way. Yeah, it is really cute. Look at these little line drawings. Okay, let's look at some photos. So nice wide strap. Um, I did notice some darting fitted through the bust and the waist, and then you add on the pants, which are a little more loose fitting. A bit of a, is it a tapered leg? No, it's a straight leg. Maybe even like a little wide leg. Here are the line drawings. So we've got actually a lot more going on than I thought. Forward shoulder seam with gathers, bust start and waist start. And then is this three darts, six darts across the front and four darts across the back with a back waist start as well? Love this little sleeve detail. And then yeah, the leg line is a little bit straight. I would also be inclined to get the dress and the pants into my own mashup. That way you have three patterns, but I get why some people just like to say, no, 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 somebody else do it for me. I don't wanna think about it. I get that. So this is the size chart for this um, upper size range. The hips go up to 57 inches. So not fully, fully size inclusive. When I talked to, when I did a little survey on um, Instagram, the plus size community said 60 inches for the hip, for the body measurement chart was best. So we're just a few inches shy of that. All right, this is the True Bias Blair skirt. Um, kind of have to be living under a rock to not have seen this. True Bias is just super popular. But woven skirt fitted through the waist and hips, straight fit to the hem. Button front opening, belt loops, three length options, mini, mini, maxi. All views have optional pockets with inverted pleats. Here's measurements. So zero to 18 on the size range. That's a hip of 34 to 40, what? 46 and a half? Jeez, I assumed, wow. Oh, maybe she has a size 20 to something else. Do we know about that? I might've just clicked on the straight size range. I think it would be helpful if you if you do offer two size ranges like this to say maybe in the measurement section you know our other our alternate size range our plus size range whatever click here because if you don't let's see yeah so 0 to 18 and then 14 to 30 so they do it a lot like seam work does where they have a curvy block and a straight block and a couple of the sizes overlap so yeah Maybe in case someone's just not paying attention, they think, oh, this doesn't fit me. But it is super, super cute with all the pocketing details. There's the midi version. It has button front or snaps and then like a actual waistband with belt loops and the whole nine. Here's a close up of those details. It's like a little 3D cargo pocket. Here it is from the back. It is, it is straight no matter the length. It doesn't continue to flare out. So um, if you're going to be wearing it with, well, yeah, you're really making it out of pretty um, stable, non-drapey fabrics. Here's fabric recommendations. Medium weight wovens, denim, corduroy, linen, and wool. So here you go. Here's another mini skirt option. You can obviously leave the pockets off. And what you'd be left with is... A front button band, a waistband. But yeah, it still would feel a little bit sporty. I guess you could omit the button band as well and just do the front on the fold and then a zipper on the side to get even a plainer look or add all these details. It is super cute. I do love it. $16, not the worst. True Bias is a very reputable company. Yeah, I mean, you know you're going to get something, a good quality pattern out of it. 
Okay, here's DG Patterns, the Philomena dress on sale right now for $6.50. This is a wrap style dress with a front v-neck, crossover shape, and short sleeves. Also features a gathered skirt with knee length pockets. Okay, I think this is a knit dress too. Maybe not. Oh yeah, two and a half yards of knit fabric. Confident beginners, they go ahead and tell you that has two inches of ease at the bust point. Um, light to medium weight knits. Yeah, I mean, it feels a little dated, right? Like we've seen stuff like this before. Nothing new, but also at the same time, like if you don't have a pattern like this, like you will reach for this a lot. It's just really easy to throw on, throw on a jean jacket and head out the door. Like, and you look pulled together and like, you know what you're doing, um, which is all we're, which is all we're really looking for, right? I was looking for some sizing details, but I don't see. I'm pretty sure they have measurement chart. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're fairly size inclusive. US 4 to 22, so a hip to 52. So not the best, but definitely not the worst. You know, a whole six inches, eight inches more than the straight sizes we've been seeing. Here's Sinclair Patterns' new pattern. It's called the Noon. Now, I'm a little bit, um, what's the word? I'm a little bit biased toward this pattern because I just recently saw an ad from a company whose name I do not like to mention, but it rhymes with vegan. <laughs> and they did it out of sweatshirt fleece and it looked super, super cool. I think that they had fewer pleats, but it was still interesting. And then this one, you have the option to do this little V detail as well, or lengthen it to a tunic and do like a, like a dress, really, like a tunic dress. So I think you can eliminate every other pleat and do it out of a thicker fabric or do it out of a lighter weight one. $11. I kind of love this detail. Imagine too, if you put like some fringe in here too, that would be cute. Slightly relaxed at the chest, bust, and hips. Comes as a solid topper tunic with a triangle yoke. Neckline is finished with a regular band. Really easy to sew. The hardest part would be folding in those pleats and getting them basted. Regular petite and tall lengths. And then the sizing is extra, extra small to 4X. So that's a bust of 31 and a half to 50, well, 60 their hip for the record goes to 63. So this would be considered like a good fully size inclusive pattern company according to plus size sewists. All right, let's look at some, are there any more pictures other than that little banner? Okay, so we'll scroll through, scroll through here really quickly. Yeah, there it is without the V. It does create kind of like a Raglan Dolman baby sleeve. It's interesting, right? Yeah, there's some color blocked options. Not my favorite. Yeah, that's pretty. That looks like a good mid-weight cotton jersey. This one. This beige one. There it is with a print. I would have thought a print might have been a little bit overwhelming, but that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it does have the V in the back as well. For sure, I'm going to make one of these and put fringe in. I don't know what kind of fringe, but we're gonna we're gonna figure that out. I love this. So cute. And I've made some Sinclair patterns before. They do a really good job. I wondered if anybody color blocked the V. That's what I was kinda hoping to see. Even if you did like a sheer through there, that would be kind of cool and sexy. Something a little bit different. You know, just this part were sheer. You wouldn't see too much especially if it were like sheer but not see-through yeah I don't see anybody doing that but overall it fits everybody about the same so I'm not seeing too many issues fit wise I will say that dress like extended it into a dress tunic type thing doesn't work great for pear shapes um so I think if you're gonna do that and you are a pear shape maybe consider removing the bottom band 
But yeah, it looks great on everybody. Oh, here we go. Contrast. Okay, good. I like your style. Um, yeah, see how cool that looks? I think that looks really neat. And visually, she picked the right color to contrast. And then she matched the cuffs to that too. Probably a really good scrap buster for that. I Am Patterns released their fall collection. So there's four patterns. We've got Bob, Baloo, Mowgli, and Gaston. I'm guessing there's a Disney theme happening. Um, okay, so Bob is a trench coat with a straight cut and four links, storm flap, finished with metal D-ring at the back. Oh my gosh, hidden button pocket, welt pockets, faux button pop at the front, two collar options, set in sleeves. The bottom of the sleeves have a placket with two buttons, can be worn with a removable belt. Wow, this is the trench coat of my dreams. And look at the price point, 8.25 euros to 12.50 euros. Look at this little D-ring detail. I don't know what you're supposed to hook onto that, but it's still cool looking. So fun. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to miss the... Oh, so there's like a little shorter version, but definitely something happening in the back. How do I look at each individual picture? <gasps> a quilted version. Okay, now how do I go back up? Oh, I don't like this interface. I want to, oh, is this it? That does nothing. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Where did it go? Where's Bob? Bob, come back to us. Okay, there she is. Or he is? I don't know. We're not going to assign genders to patterns, right? Um, okay, so then there's a really long length. All right, let's look at the line drawings. I can't make it any bigger, guys. I'm sorry. So we have the trench coat. What does that say? Stand-up collar, classic collar, stand-up collar, classic collar, short trench coat, mid-thigh, classic, and long. So stinking good. So good. Here's some more info on the sleeves and the welt pocket man yeah that's nice oh there we go nice and big so you can see all those details what a fun sew right like if you have a week off of work or something you can really just lose yourself in this one so that's fabric requirements here's the measurement chart drafted for a five five and a b cup that's me 34 to 52 is the size range. That's a hip of up to 47 and a quarter. It's a French company. The French are, you know, not very supportive of our U.S. bodies. <laughs> um, they seem to kind of just like completely resist the idea of plus size in my, from what I've seen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Okay, Baloo is a sweatshirt, a dress, and a t-shirt. 15 versions Neckline finished with ribbing, like a classic t-shirt, five different styles. Short versions are crop tops with two waist finishes, one elasticated, one hemmed. A sweatshirt version that stops at the high hips, finished with an elasticated hem. The version that stops at the hip features a single folded hem, like a classic t-shirt. The final version is a dress with a double gathered flounce, which is sewn at hip level and stops at mid-thigh. Three set-in sleeves. Short sleeve, long sleeve, and then a long sleeve wide. Wow, let's look at those line drawings. So, tapered sleeves, elasticated sleeves, short sleeves, and then the dress, t-shirt, elasticated top, crop top, elasticated crop top. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that really is just about all you'd need. I want to see the dress. I'm assuming those shorts are part of some kind of pack. That's a great shape for a t-shirt. I love that it's a little bit slouchy and oversized. Here's more of the dress. 
Yeah, so the dress starts, it starts a little bit lower than the hip, I think. That's cute, though. It's kind of like giving a little bit of tennis vibes. You certainly could use some fabric that's not, I think this is probably ponty knit or scuba even. You could definitely do some that's not as stiff. Like a sweatshirt dress would be really cute. Okay, Baloo. And now Mowgli. Pair of joggers with two cuts, fitted or relaxed. Three length options. For a wide leg, there's a mini short version, a long shorts version, and a trouser version that tightens at the bottom with elastic. For the slim fit, there's mini shorts, long shorts, and cropped. Um, finish with a folded hem and optional side slit. Finish at the waist with a waistband that's tightened with elastic. At the front, you can choose to have an Italian pocket or none at all. At the back, it can be some with or without pockets. 28 variations. Oh my gosh. Okay, so sweatpants with different lengths and waistbands, right? Let's see, where's fabric? Recommended, yeah. Sweatshirt, fleece, French cherry, and Milano jersey. Oh, that's nice that they tell you exactly what they used for their samples up here. Oh, I do love this detail, especially in like a sweatpant. Again, like the elevated sweatpant look. The rise is a little low for my taste, but easy enough to bring that up. Oh, and I love that she got the little clips for the end, too. Here's the short. That's cute and fun. And then there's the short short with the top that we just saw. Again, I would want to raise the rise just because that's how my body shape, I think, looks best. But, yeah. Nothing super revolutionary about either one of these patterns. Um... They just look extra clean. The fabric that they're using, I guess, must be really, I guess, high end. I don't know. But again, it's just an elasticated t-shirt and jogging shorts. You know, not, it's not that crazy. But the price point is right on for something like that. Okay, here's Gaston. A jersey jacket with six versions. Some with a shirt collar or simple round neckline. Large patch pockets, welt pockets, or without pockets. Fasten with five press studs, facing on the inside for a clean finish, long fitted sleeves. Okay, this one's Gaston. All right. I don't love the dark color because I can't see. Here we go. So it's basically like a jacket cardigan baby thing. Had a baby. Oh, well, hmm. with the collar, it looks a little bit more like a bomber jacket. Without it, it reads more like a cardigan, right? Um, let's see, recommended fabrics, sweatshirt, quilted jersey, and faux fur jersey. Faux fur jersey? Never heard of that. Yeah, pretty simple style lines here. Just kind of a simple pattern. All around, yeah, great for quilted projects because there aren't many seams. Okay, well, there you have it. All right, that's the I Am collection. This is the Swim Style Patterns Carla Loungewear Pattern. $15, pattern details, no, description. Let's shorten this. Uh, designed for knit stretch fabrics, boat neck style neckline, billow sleeves, perfect for loungewear. We can wear the wide leg style creates volume while the waistband creates shape. Three different patterns in one, including the top drawstring pant and short and the easy view pant and short. So two different pants here. Oh, it's too, way too big. Way too big. My bad. Okay, well, the whole thing doesn't fit on my screen, but we can scroll at least. I love the sleeve. The sleeve is really good. 
The shape of the pant is really good too. So you get all of these for $15. That's not that bad. You considered you would pay that for just the top or just the pants from other pattern companies. I don't know the difference though between the two pairs of pants and it doesn't look like we're going to get, well, that's cute. Hi, Sharon. Yeah. So it doesn't look like we are going to get a line drawing. Um, so again, I can't really tell the difference between the two pants. And again, it said description, three patterns, top, drawstring pant and short, and the easy view pant and short. I don't know what easy view pant and short means. Just like pull on without a drawstring, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, hard to say. But yeah, really cute. I think it's a good value for $15 too um, for all of your little knit loungewear. Let's see. Rib knits, jumper knits, which is sweater knits, double knits, single knits, and jerseys. So really kind of everything. I think if you wanted to get the kind of volume like they had in the green one, yeah, like this one, that's like a thicker rib knit. So yeah, shop around. You don't have to worry about fit. You can, you know, it's just easy to sew. You don't have to think about it a lot. Next up, we have Violet Fields. Alyssa romper and skirt. Okay, so you know Violet Fields is mostly known for their kids clothes But it looks like they are doing some versions in women's wear as well. This is a uh, Quick sew pattern continuous straps run through the front and then through the back drawing in the waistline So it's like a, a loop up and around the front and back uh, one of those designs where you could size up or down depending on the look you want can be sewn as wide leg pants or skirt, both feature side seam pockets. Straps are adjustable in length and can be finished straight or crisscrossed in the back. Sizes 0 to 20. I'll look at that here in a second. But yeah, you see the design here. So it's kind of like a, a cross between, oh my goodness, what is the name of that jumpsuit? I've made it. Mine is green. Oh, I can picture the like listing but I can't picture the name where the back ties back here like this um my the other one has a bib and this one doesn't um but I think that's okay depending on you know what vibe you're going for let's look at some of these pictures and see does this get big yes thank you can we scroll through this no come on everybody help help a girl out Okay, so I know you guys are probably thinking, okay, clown pants adjacent. I get that, but it's definitely like a vibe. I do think the ditzy print in the muted colors, that really helps. Beautiful photos. This one. So she shortened her straps, which also means probably a higher rise, I would think. There's the back of that one. Oh, I want to love this. I think it's a little bit maybe harder to pull off than I originally thought. None of these are bad. They all look really, really cute. It's just not my style and aesthetic. If I could see one where I was like, yes, I get that. That's probably a corduroy, which is something that I would have tried. Oh, darn. Yeah, this is like right up my alley, but not, it's, it's not hitting for some reason. And I can't exactly tell why. Maybe, maybe it's actually better if the little thing is lower. Because if you look at hers, oh man, yeah. I don't know, cute concept. I think it could be great. Um, it could definitely be something that I absolutely love and wear. This one's probably the closest. Um, but I gotta say, you guys, I mean, it can't be more comfortable than this, right? So at a certain point, don't we just like, who cares? And just, it's just comfortable. 
yeah, I think if I found some ready to wear versions, you know, that, that worked, I could, I could figure out a way to make this work for me. Okay. Seam work release two patterns. We have the Fallon pants, which I know now because I did my sew along on them. Um, released that, like, uh, revealed that uh, earlier this week. But we also have the Andy jacket. It is a knit jacket, gender inclusive, that hits right below the high hip, drop shoulders, elastic casings at the sleeve and waist. The jacket closes with snaps at the center front all the way to a stand collar. So it looks like they're going for kind of a fleecy vibe. Gender inclusive again, so... Oh, they made this version out of sweatshirt fleece. It's a very, very long dropped shoulder. I mean, I get that he's like broad through the chest, but you can see where his shoulder drops off. And then it almost wants to like, there's a little dip right here. And it almost wants the sleeve to start there. There's the little pockets. Here's another version. This it must be some kind of like, maybe French terry. It's very drapey, right? So that's much more casual. All right, good. And then seam work is very size inclusive. They, they cover this, you know, all the sizing, um, zero, zero to 30. Um, here is, I never remember, which one are we? Imperial? Yeah. So the bust is 32 to 46. Oh, that's just zero, zero to 18. It's actually 32 to 60. That makes more sense. Okay, good. And then um, if you don't have a Seamwork me uh, membership already, check the description box. I have a link for how you can save 50% off of your membership. It is an affiliate link, so that I also get a little bit of a kickback. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, here's the Made for Mermaids new pattern. This is the Everly cardigan. So cute. It's a Dolman style cardigan top, full of options, functioning buttons, choose from trim or oversized fit throughout the body. Oh, four different sleeve options, basic sleeve, lantern sleeve, elastic bishop sleeve, or bell sleeve. I mean, and look how it dramatically, like, alters the look. I mean, this is like a little bit Mr. Rogers vibe. You know, then this is like cute boutique girly look. So is this one kinda. And then this one's like fun 70s vibe. Made for knits, faux or functional placket, long crop or high hip, banded or hemmed finish, and then fits full bust sizes 30 to 60 inches, confident beginner, suggested fabrics. Okay. Um Medium weight knits with 25% stretch and drape, such as sweater knits, chenille, brushed sweater knit, bamboo, French cherry, waffle knits. Yeah, I think I'm imagining it, in my mind, as like a, I don't know, almost like as if you had knitted it yourself. What, what fabric is that? Is that some kind of sweater knit, I guess? That must be the high hip length. I want to see some of these sleeves. Also, why? Oh, here we go. I was like, why can't I know I could scroll on this page? All right. Oh, look, they made a little set. Perfect. So, yeah, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it is a little bit similar to not this one. This one. It just buttons up the front. So, depending on. But then the other one, you get the pants. This one's just the top. Yeah, really cute. I love the oversized slouchy vibe of it. Oh, there's the, oh, it's different sleeve. Oh, I don't want to go to Twitter. I knew that was going to happen. Um, that must be the bishop sleeve, I guess. A little bit long on her. Well, so is her sleeve. So double check the sleeve length for sure. I'm getting a lot of long, two long sleeves. That's the trim fit. This one might be two, actually. So you really do get like, the only kind of cardigan that you would ever need because even if you wanted a long cardigan you just lengthen this yeah cute yeah this one's really great i think 
yeah, you're gonna be able to flip through and get a photo of whatever version it is that you're looking at. So yeah, 12 bucks for just the cardigan, but I don't know, maybe you already have like the knitted pants for the knitted pants pattern for the pants if you wanted to make a set. Otherwise, I do think that this is like a tried, not tried and true, but like a one and done. Like you buy this and you'll never need to buy another cardigan pattern ever again. This is from Styla Patterns. This is their Aston. I think they have two new patterns this month. Um, it's a little pinafore for layering designed for knits. So a knit pinafore. Princess seam, sleeveless, optional partial or full length faux button placket, optional, <laughs> optional pockets. There's a fitted and flared skirt, mini length or knee length. So again, lots of options. Oh, I remember this one looking really cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So adorable. I love a flared skirt because that's just what I'm most comfortable in. Let's see if I can get to these photos. Are we going to be able to zoom? No. <laughs> okay, well, we can flip through them this way, but then I have to scroll down to see the rest of it. Cute, cute layering piece. Yeah, I was just going to suggest like a stretch corduroy would be great. It says knit fabrics, right? But it doesn't have to be like knit knit. I wonder what the stretch requirement is. Do we have any of that? No. I got to imagine the stretch percentage is probably very, very low. Or just size up. Cute. I love the print mixing that she did. Yeah, so lots of different... Um, ways to style this well there's really only one way to style it right like it's either a dress with no shirt underneath or you put a shirt underneath but um lots of like different looks within that styling so like this you can do sheer underneath you can do short sleeve t-shirt you can do like a blouse you know what i mean like lots of different options in that regard cute that's fun and again gotta be super comfortable $11. I do like that price point. I feel like that $8 to $12 price point, you can get a really good, well-made pattern. You know, it's not like too good to be true where it's like $4 and exceptional. Those are, those do exist, but um, I just, I guess I feel confident in like the $8 to $12 range patterns. This is the Abingdon, their other Styla pattern um zero to 32 I, I didn't remember to look at the sizing let's look at it here um no that's fabric requirements in centimeters that's not helpful oh where is their size oh here we go size chart in inches so the bust goes from 31 and a half to 59 so really great size inclusivity we've got going on here. All right, so Abingdon. Abingdon is dress and top, designed for woven fabrics, loose fit, unlined, uh, faced neckline, shirt, waist, and sleeve cuffs, short and long sleeves, top length, knee length, or what is mid-axi length? Midi maxi Mid-axi? Is that a typo or is that like a new thing? maxi link maybe that's supposed to be midi and then this is maxi link but i love the idea of a midaxi <laughs> oh gosh okay all right so there's the top so they're shirring through here and right here on the sleeve i'm hoping we get like a close-up of somebody's where we can see those details really well here we go you can see a little bit of shirring there. Again, the sleeve is a little bit long. I'm wondering if full busted women just naturally have shorter arms. <laughs> is, that a, is there a correlation between how you guys are typically more petite in length? That would make sense, right? And this one doesn't look like it has shirring. It just looks like it has like one little elastic band. There's the shirring there. I will say it's super flattering on every body type right i think it looks really cute on everyone great for church you could even dress it up for like a wedding or something obviously date night 
work, you know, those of you that are having to go back to an office. Oh, here's the maxi with the extra ruffle. So cute. Good, good, good. Really cute. All right, last but not least, Love Notions Frankie Polo. $10, and I think that that's limited time sale um, when the patterns are just released. Um, classic top with a modern twist, two body style, shirt length, as well as a knee length dress. Come on, a polo dress. Three different sleeve lengths with cuff options, short sleeve with a hem sleeve band or notched cuff, long sleeve and three quarter sleeve have cuff options as well as the regular hem. Shirt has a longer hem in the back with side vents. Neckline is open style to give them an entangle this classic style. Love. This is the zoom. Okay, cute. Yeah, that looks like a polo to me. Oh, there's a little, like, yeah, it's kind of like a retro feel with that notched cuff. Classic, can't go wrong. So cute. I mean, the dress is adorable. So fun. Okay, this is one of the, it's either, I can't remember who does what. There's it's a sister team, Love Notions, it's two sisters, but she is one of the women behind Love Notions. So hers are always, like, her makes are always, like, you know, very ready to wear looking. Oh, the split hem, cute. Okay, great. I wouldn't mind seeing it uh, mini length with a split head, maybe. Oh my god, the plaid! That's incredible! So cute. Yep. I mean, that looks right off the rack of J. Crew or something, right? Love, love, love. All these versions are really great. Okay. All right, you guys. Yeah. Like I said. Oh boy. Hold on. How do I get out of here? Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the love notions. Oh man, no. Uh, maybe this? <laughs> Let's go back here and see Frankie Polo. Okay. All right, so yeah, like I said, lots and lots of patterns um, that came out in October. I was trying to find them. Here we go. Um, let me know what you guys think of you know, what the indies are doing, um, which one of these you love, which one of these you've already added to your cart or you purchased while we were watching this video, <laughs> um, which one are you going to add to your to make list? Yeah, really curious to see what you think. Hopefully you guys also um, found some pattern companies that you hadn't heard of before. Join their newsletter, you know, even if you're not going to buy a pattern today, join their newsletter, follow them on social media. That really helps all of them, you know, so much, even if you're not necessarily, um, you know, paying them by purchasing a pattern today. But I do think I have my own little list. So we'll see what ends up making it actually to the cutting table. Um, I will be considering some of these for Sew Together, uh, which is my little challenge where every month uh, we sew a pattern together. <laughs> So together. Um, all of that information goes down on my Patreon. So check the description box for that if you're interested. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!